Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn some of the Java interview questions. So before learning the interview questions, I assume that you already know the Java programming language. So in this video, we will just cover the topics question by question and not the entire details about the concept. So let's start with the first question, which is what if I write static public void instead of public static void. So we generally know we have the main method inside the class. So we generally write the public static void main as the main method and not the static public void. But what if we write the static public void? So let's check in our editor. We are using the Eclipse editor here. And inside this editor, what we will do here, we have a class called test and here we have the main method. So we have the main method as public static void main and we will try to print here some message. So let's print here message with the help of sysout which is system out dot print and here I will say hello. Now we know this is the way with which we write the main method public static void main and if I try to run this run so here we are getting the output as hello but what if we change here to static public void so it's, let's say I first write static then public and then void so whether this code will run or not so let's try to run this code so see still we are getting the output this means that this is also a valid statement if we write the static public void main then also we will get the output here so the program compiles and runs correctly because the order of specifier doesn't matter in java so what are the specifiers here the specifier here are static public so if we change the order of them to public static or static public then also the program will compile and run correctly as we have seen in the demo next question is what is the default value of the local variables so we know in java there are class variables or global variables and local variables so local variables have the scope inside the method only and what is the default value of the local variables so the local variables are not initialized to any default value this means that local variables does not have any default value so let's check in the code here in the editor what we will do here let's say we declare one local variable which is for this main method and we know in java there are total eight data types which are integer float double long short char byte and boolean so let's declare one integer type variable let's say int i so i haven't declared the value of integer i here i just declared a variable and not initialized to any variable and if i try to print the value of i let's say i is equal to and then we will print the value of i so see here we are getting an error what does that error says the local variable i may not have been initialized this means that java does not provide a default value to this particular local variable so that's why we are getting here an error if you try to run this code then what error we are getting here yeah so st see we are getting here the errors not have been initialized variable local variable i may not have been initialized so if i initialize to the value zero then see we are not getting any error and if you try to run this code then this time we are getting the value of i at zero because we manually or explicitly declare the value of i now in similar ways if you change the data type here to float and does not declare then also we will get the error and the same error it will be it will say local variable i may not have been initialized if i change it to boolean any of the eight data types that we have for each of them for the local variables the value will not be provided by default so remember this the default value for the local variables is not provided next question we have is is delete next main exit or null are keyword in java or not so in java 
the main as we have seen so the main is predefined method here you can see in the public static void main main is a predefined method it is not a keyword and null null is a default value of the string type in the string type if you don't provide any value for that we have the default value as null delete next exit are operations perform on java program so all these are not the keywords in java because this is a method these are the operations delete next exit and null is a default value for the string so let's move towards the next question here so next question we have is what is the final keyword in java so we know there is a keyword called final in java so basically this keyword is used with variables also with methods also and with class also so final variable so once a variable is declared as final then the value of the variable could not be changed it is like a constant so once you declared a variable con final then it will not be changed now let's see in the demo how we can check this so here we have a class test and inside this we will declare one variable so with the help of final keyword final then the data type let's say int and the name of variable as speed let's say speed and it is 60 so final speed value of this variable will be 60 now before going into the main method here we declare one method let me remove this part here here i will have one method let's say void run is the name of method and here we will try to let me yeah here we will try to change the value of speed let's say we try to change the value of speed to 70 speed is equal to 70 now once you try to change the value of speed here you can see here you are getting a error message which says the final field speed cannot be assigned and in the main method what we will do we will try to create the object of this test class so how to create the object you need to provide the name of class test then the name of object let's say t then new again the name of class so once you have declared this class object then you will try to access the method run now t dot run and now let's save it and run now if i try to run this so here we have the error and what does that error says the error says unresolved compilation the final field test cannot be assigned because it is a final keyword and it cannot be change because it is a constant when you declare it if i remove the final keyword here now this time the code will run because it is now a normal variable and we can change the value of normal variable if i try to run this code now so see we are we will get the as we are not printing anything so we are not getting any message here but there is also not any error here if i try to print the message here print sys out speed then we will get it as 70 now because it is a normal variable we haven't declared it as a final now so that was the use of final variable next use of final keyword is final method so when a final keyword is used in a method it couldn't be overridden if a method is marked as final then it can't be overridden by the subclass so we know the concept of inheritance where we have the parent class and child class and inside the child class we can inherit the properties of parent class but once you declare a method as final in the parent class you cannot inherit that particular method inside the child class let's see in the demo Let me minimize this now what we will do we will create a new class here let's create a class new class let's say name of the class is a So this is our class public class a and inside this class we will declare one method which will be final so final and then the method let's say void show and here we will have a print message sys out
yeah and here we will print the message inside a inside a so this is our class a now we will have another class called b and which will be the child class of this particular class so let's declare it as b you also need a main method and this class b will extend to the class a so let's have your keyword extends extends to a and now once you extend this class and if you try to override the method of parent class so in the parent class we have the method show and here if you try to override that particular method which is void show void show and if you try to print here inside b inside b and in the main method you will create the object of the child class so child class here is b then its object let's say obj then new then b class and after that with the help of this object obj dot run you will call sorry show method we have declared here show and if you try to run this code now here you can see already there is a error message which says cannot override the final method from o why we are not able to override it because we have declared it as final so if you remove this final here and if you check now there is no error now you can override it means in the parent class its implementation is inside a but in the child class its implementation is inside b and if you try to access with the help of child class object then it will provide the message inside b let me remove run this code run as java application so see we are getting the message inside b once you make it as final then it cannot be overridden because that is the use of final keyword for a method so as you can see here you will get the message as error message let me run this see here we are getting the error message class b overrides final method show so the final method cannot be overridden another use of final keyword is with the help of class if a class is declared as final then the class couldn't be subclassed no class can extend the final class so if you declare a class as final then the other class cannot extend it means it cannot be a parent class to any other class let's say i remove the final keyword here so the method will be now overridden but if you declare this particular class as final so let's say public final public class here we can declare a method final so once you declare this class as final now then we will get the error in the child class here we are getting the error on line number two which says type g cannot subclass the final class a means it cannot subclass the final class a we cannot extend that particular class now if you try to run this now then we will get the message see we are getting here the message as unresolved compilation problem at java 6 so that means that we cannot extend the final class so that was the use of final keyword in java another question is what is known as base class in java from which all the classes are derived so we know that when we create the java file we already provide the name of class and the name of file and the class name is always same so everything in java is with the help of classes only so what is the base class for all the classes so base class for all the classes is java.lang.object so all the classes that we create are by default inheriting from java.lang.object so always remember this class name and the last question that we want to see in this video is does main method in java return any data so as we know how to declare a main method with the help of public static void main as the name here comes void as we can see in the main class 
so void means that particular method will not return anything so main method cannot return back any data and thus it is always declared with a void return type in java i hope you have understood all the questions here the main question here was for the final keyword and you can always give this three examples for the final keyword explanation for final variable final method and final class so that's it in this video we will cover another interview questions in next video thank you for watching